Hey, friends, it is the Drive to School podcast. I'm Pastor Goodman, and my friend Chris Hall is back. How you doing, Pastor? Oh, Brother Goodman, if I were any better, I would be you. And you always you always say aim higher, and I keep trying to, but you're, you're the pinnacle, my friend. You you are, the is it the penultimate? Is that the higher? Is there the ultimate? The I, I didn't hundred. pay attention yeah. in Greek, you know? I know there's squiggles, there's lines. I didn't pay attention, though. There's so, letters I don't recognize. It's weird. Uh, yeah. I, did. I remember one of our classmates, Chris Neuendorf. You remember him? Oh, yeah. God, I, I couldn't stand being next to him in class because, you know, he came from the Greek Orthodox Church and he had a classics degree. I remember he'd read Greek like it was his first language. And I'm sitting there, uh, uh, and he's just, and then, mm. uh, I mean, it's good to tell your fellow brothers, you know, that you don't like them because they're better than you. So I told Chris that all the time. I still do. I call him up once every few months and say, you know what? You think you're better than me? He's like, no, I'm very humble. I'm like, we know, we know, Chris, you're very <laughs> humble. So it's fun, but that's not what we're supposed to talk about today. My bad. That's okay. I'm glad that we just sort of got that uh, little diversion out of the way. What do you want to talk about today, Pastor Hall? I tell you, Advent, Advent right. and Luther, it, it's fun. I mean, we're going through Advent right now. Mm -hmm. Second Sunday in Advent coming up soon. And you have this beautiful passage from Luke 21. And I say beautiful because if you understand it the right way, it is beautiful. I mean, Jesus starts with this, you know, beware of foreboding and, and the roaring of seas and nations and perplexity and all this. And then he talks about the fig tree. And when you see its leaf budding, you know, summer has come. So straighten up because you know when God's kingdom is coming. And then he has the ending verses, you know, beware, be watchful, be awake. But he says this beautiful thing. He says, keep looking because your redemption is coming. Right. And that's that one verse translates the entire passage. Jesus isn't coming back to get us. He's not coming back to punish us. He's not coming back to tell us, hey, remember that Tuesday when you were 18 years old and you failed or remember that time when, you know, you were at the Starbucks and someone ahead of you paid for your, your caramel spice soy latte. And I know that's my usual. And, you know, then you could pay it for behind you, but they had like eight people in the van. So it was like $92. You're like, you know what? The Holy spirit knows I care. Um, I remember that's not what he's coming back to do. He's coming back to, to rescue and, Luther makes this beautiful statement. He says, really, Advent is just this fleshing out of the seventh petition of the Lord's Prayer, deliver us from evil. And you have Christ coming and reminding us that he, he's taking you from this valley of sorrow to himself. He's coming and rescuing you, not just from the eternal consequence of sin, but sin right now, he's rescuing you from, from living in it, from letting it burden you, from letting it torment you. Like when you, you lose your temper, you don't feel good afterwards. He's saving you from losing your cool. And in its place, he puts self-control. He's releasing you from the, the torment of the devil, the devil accusing you night and day. And he, he takes the wind out of the devil's sails by saying, hey, just tell him about me. Tell him I dealt with it already. Yeah, I know I'm a sinner, but Christ made satisfaction on my behalf, devil. You're, you got the wrong address. And the world, we don't march to the world's drum anymore. Jesus is our great King Wenceslas that walks in front of us, and we step behind him as the poor man. Have you ever sang the entire song, Good King Wenceslas? You know, it's no. like seven stanzas. Yeah, it's huge. Seven stanzas. Sorry, my phone decided to try to bump there. But you look at that. I hope I didn't ruin everything for everybody. Oh, well, you're good. Man. Usually I do. I ruin, I ruin everything. But that's what Advent's about. Jesus coming to deliver, to rescue you from sin, death, world, and the power of the devil. Right. So if Jesus is and showing up. joyful. So we can't wait to the last day. And he gives us a glimpse of it right now. 
Yeah. So if Jesus showing up on the last day is, is just a trap, it's a thing to, to, I hope he doesn't catch me sinning, even though whenever the last day is, if I'm still alive, he's going to catch me sinning. Uh, if, if it's that, then I have to be afraid. And so uh, Jesus, he, he says that this other part in, in the, the gospel verse for the son, he lift up your heads. And if it's just like you have to sort of uh, be on a, on, on a pivot because you're afraid of getting caught, then then it's a terrifying thing that we, we pray, don't come, Lord Jesus, stay away from me. I'd much rather be down here with the sin, death, and the power of the devil all by myself in the world, Lord have mercy on us. But if it is to come and rescue us, not even just from these things, but from ourselves, then lift up your heads. It, it is sort of a recognition that there is a change. It, it's not just now that you have Jesus, you won't be angry anymore. It's that you don't have to be curved in on yourself in this anger. Lift up your head and recognize there is more. When you are angry, rejoice that Christ has died to forgive your sins and lift up your head and look forward to him coming again so that there will be a day when you don't have to wrestle and lose anymore. But for this moment, for this moment, uh, there actually is a, a deliver us from evil as if it matters now and not just not just someday. And that's kind of how we pray the Lord's Prayer too, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, hallelujah, brother, the way you, you the, the reality is I'm delivered right now from evil. Right now, my, my life, I, I, the, the shackles have been, been stripped. I'm free. Uh, Satan doesn't torment me. And, and now I get to just live in joy with my neighbor, waiting for Christ to come back. <laughs> this is awesome. And what are the words I speak in the meantime? The words you and I are speaking right now to each other of encouragement, of joy, not reminding each other our shortcomings, but instead reminding one another how good Jesus is and how much he loves you. And that, that's what Advent's all about. That's, that's what the whole Christian life is about, is Jesus saying, hey, I'm here saving you now so that you may live with me forever. It's great stuff. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Indeed, brother. Indeed. Well, it's great to see you again, Pastor Hall. I hope you uh, have a blessed Advent season. And uh, yeah, be well. We'll talk to you next time. Fun times, brother. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye.